Alright, who's ready for some Warhammer Age of Sigma? Because I, I kind of am. Um, so today I'm doing another card game. Um, and this is purely because this was very cheap. I'll give you a really quick rundown. I'm not that massively into Warhammer. Um, I played a bit of Vermintide 2 and I have a few friends who are into Warhammer. So I've kind of gleamed information over the years. Uh, I, I kind of, I like the concept of it, but I've just never got around to doing anything Warhammer. But recently, um, a friend of mine, uh, shout out to Mark, gave me a tip off that uh, in a UK store called B&M Bargains, they were selling this Warband pack for three pounds, which it, it works out basically for a pound a booster pack, not including these cards. So I thought I'd crack some open, and because they were so cheap, I've bought two. So we'll have a quick look at what you get with these and then we'll go into it. So this is from the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions trading card game. Now I'm pretty sure I've not looked this up yet specifically, but from what I hear this failed. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the series really, I don't think there's any other trading cards or anything. So I think there were two sets, but we'll have a quick look. So this is the Warband pack. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, and so on the front we get a pack of Onslaught, which is I think like the second booster set. And we've got Thorns the Briar Queen, which is one of the things, and Storm Sire's Curse Breakers on the other. So on the back it says like uh, champions.com, uh, Warhammer Champions. You, you can go to that website if you want, but I think it may be defunct. Obviously this is also a Games Workshop property. The Warband pack, and the yes, that mentions the Play Fusion thing. So I'm pretty sure one of the gimmicks of these cards is if you download the app, which is apparently on the App Store, um, you could scan these and you'd get each of the cards in the in the game, which is pretty cool. I mean, I I may give the app a download to give it a try. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so on the back we got a Warband pack and we got a description. So. The, there's lots of flavour text. Uh, so this contains 16 exclusive cards, so I think you can only get these in the Warband pack. You get one Onslaught booster and two Champions boosters. So I think Champions is the older one and stuff. And I think it's uh, split into two different packs. You get some for the uh, Briar Queen, who's obviously one of the... Uh, one of the entities within Warhammer. And you have the Stone Sires uh, Curse Breakers, who I'm pretty sure he is... They're, they're related to the God King Sigma themselves, sorry. Um, that's that's him, I think, the God King. There's lots of God Kings and God Emperors and stuff like that about Warhammer. Um, as I said, it, it's a really fascinating world. It's just something, unfortunately, I've never fully taken time to get into. Um, so, we're just going to open this up now, I think. Uh, we'll open the side now. I bought this like this, it's actually open on the side, but I've had a quick check and I don't think anything's been stolen. Which is always a good start, to be honest. Put that to the side there. So, these are kind of taped to the front with a booster and I think there's two boosters. Good, there are two, thank God, uh, at the back. So, I'm going to go take these off, this piece of card, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. That was um, that was not the best way. Like everything's basically glued on, or it's like well, sticky gel thing, and like getting them off feels really weird. Like you're gonna bend the cards. So I'm gonna open up two of these packs. Obviously, not gonna do it for the second thing because these are predetermined. Obviously, um, I think you get like six cards. Pro oh wait, no, eight cards in each of these probably. The sixteen exclusive cards. Um, I don't really know, you know, if there's any value to any of these or if any of them are cool. So that's the back, which I really like. Uh, you know, quite clean and stuff. So we're just going to jump into it. So the hollow effects are really nice. We've got Blessed Banishment. Uh, so obviously I am going to be missing out on a lot of things, but... Uh, ah, there we are. There's the Storm Sire from the uh, Briar Queen's, you know, clan or whatever it's called. Storm Sire's Curse Breakers. Hey. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry, these are the Curse Breakers. These are um, the uh, God King of Sigmar, isn't it? Sorry. Yep. Nice. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. I like that all of these are hollows as well. And I think that, like, there's little bits from the card which set off the AR 
functionality of the app, which is very nice. We've got Averon Storm Sawyer. Yo, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got bless. Oh wait, well, blessed banishment again. Oh, uh, we do we get two of them then? Um, got grasping chains. Is that a hollow? No, that's not a hollow. That's just a common or whatever. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm not bothering to like read the effects right now, but you know, eventually I will get around to it. I don't even know how the game works or whatever. It looks like there's like costs and stuff. Um, you know, kind of a bit like. Magic or maybe Hearthstone or wherever. Uh, so we've got a Storm Sire, we've got and a Howling Vortex. I believe that's the last card because we're back to Blessed Banishment. Do we get two Blessed Ban Banishment Hollows then or is it just one? Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that one's not hollow. I didn't pick up on that. So the first four are hollow, the other four are kind of non-hollow. Fair enough. So they're pretty cool. I like that uh, faction. Let's open up the Briar Queens thing. Is it Briar Queen, Queen of Thorns, something along those lines? Uh, sorry, if you are a Warhammer fan, you're probably yelling at the screen right now. Uh, but right, no, oh, we got Grasping Chains, but this time in a hollow. Uh, wonder if the others. No, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, hang on. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're going to get the first four from that pack in non hollow, I reckon, then. So we've got Howling Vortex. That does look pretty cool in uh, hollow, to be fair. Hey, Thorns of the Briar Queen. Okay, so th that's kind of weird. So you, you get two, or oh, well, technically Howling um, Banishment. No, uh, Blessed Banishment. You're going to get four of, aren't you? Oh, wait, no, hang on. Oh, yo, that's the Briar Queen. That's cool. So we got, all, obviously, the Hollow Storm Sire, now the Briar Queen. Yo, that's pretty gnarly as well. I am going to, like, end up putting these in a binder and stuff. Um... Uh, but, you know, I, it, it's not going to be a set I think I'd have bought were it not for the fact a booster pack is a pound, and I've, I've got a problem. Uh, <laughs> we've got Grasping Chains, we've got... Oh, we've got a Storm Sire. Oh, do we get the Briar Queen, actually, but in non-hollow in the last thing? I genuinely can't remember. And we've got Howling Vortex, so we're back to... Yeah, there we are. Hollow Grasping Chains. Very nice, I I, I guess. Um, not saying, I'm just going to put them in one bundle because they seem to just be a mix of hollow and non-hollow versions of each other, which is strange. I thought each pack, like one of them would be Briar Queen, one of them would be Storm Sire, but whatever. Um, so we're going to do it in the kind of kooky way of doing two packs, one pack, and then opening that up uh, instead of going like four packs and two packs. So I'm pretty sure this is just base set basically, Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions, doesn't mention anything else, and Onslaught seems to be an expansion, uh, as I mentioned it is Games Workshop, let's see if the back tells us any rarities, I did not find any rarities, which which isn't a given to be fair, a lot of uh, trading cards don't do that, but I have realised it's 2018, so maybe Onslaught was 2019, but clearly this, uh, this failed a while ago, and yeah, Fair enough then, and it does mention it's an augmented reality, I hope you can see that, but it's super shiny. Uh, it's an augmented, like, reality card game thing, which I do like, to be fair, because uh, if you guys remember, years ago, I made some videos on the Tekken card tournament, and uh, those had the same thing, basically, you could scan a code, and if you pulled the card, you got the card in the app. Um, that was pretty nice, I, I do like that. I'm not a massive fan of uh, the way Pokemon does it, where each code card will give you a pack, but it's, it has no bearing on the pack you pulled. I mean, it might be a bit of a nightmare to do, and I suppose you would have to scan each card, but you know. Right, I don't know how the, the layout works, so we're just going to go raw here and work out what the rare was or whatever. Oh, so we begin with a Blood Feast, which uh, sure is nice for some people and it's a spell that's cool so does this tell you like factions and stuff we'll see Ooh, go slick skull reaper very nice that's a unit i'm gonna see hang on okay cool sorry i was kind of hoping there was maybe like a name for the faction or whatever there doesn't seem to be uh it's really hard to tell but you can tell it's a common because it's got a c there uh yeah that's pretty cool feast of morn uh, I don't know if Morn is... Oh, Mork, sorry. I read that as Morn. Fair enough. 
We've got an insatiable blood reaver. Hey, we've all been there after a night on the town. Uh, which is a unit. Hey, we got a brute smashers. Yay, oaks, oaks, oaks. Um, and yeah, and I believe stacking auric. Um, nice. Very nice. We've got a commanding the dead. Uh, I, I am I am liking the art of these. I like the layout of the cards as well. Ah, it's an ability and a wizard. That's cool. Okay, so... Uh, ah, there we are. Ooh, bloody thirst. Also, my camera's picking that, that up as a face, which is fair enough. An ability and warrior. Very cool. What's that, then? I don't actually know what that is. Uh, that, that's probably got some significance. And Man, I've got to say, the viewfinder, even just like looking up close, black on dark red is not a great thing to put your rarities on, but still. We've got a Crypt Shield Skeletons, very nice. We've got a, oh, so it's a Risen and a unit. Yeah, so I guess some cards kind of like, you know, a lot of card games you can only play Risen with certain things or maybe certain spell cards affect Risen. We've got a Soul Feast, very nice. Ooh, an Unhallowed Mortis Engine, yo. Okay, that's really cool. That's like, ah, oh, yeah, nice. Oh, and it's a vehicle as well. That's that's really nice. Okay, cool. Didn't realise there were vehicles in this game. Ooh! Crypt Hunter Courier. Courier? Courier. Mordana. Okay. Mordant, sorry. Not Mordana. Very nice. So, obviously, these symbols mean things as well. Um, very cool. Supernatural Horror. So, that's got the same thing, but it's white instead of green which is fair enough it's a blessing and a passive very cool again i'm not gonna like bother looking at the effects and stuff because i don't know how the game works so oh yeah it's a hollow okay cool uh skeletal legion very nice another risen card uh yo that's cool so the hollow's like behind them and stuff and uh, let me double check I can barely read that. I think that says R for rare, but I don't know. But yeah, Skeletal Legion. I, I like the Risen. They're pretty cool. Um, oh, we're back to Blood Feast. Oh, okay, cool. So the rare is right on the back. There's not even a need to let's double check. But yeah, of course, look, there we are. Nice. That's, um, that's the first Champions base set pack opened. Uh, I like the design of the packs as well. Anything with, like, black edges and stuff, just... Makes it feel a bit premium, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm just making no sense, but yeah. Uh, I'm liking the art on the front as well. Again, I could not name you who the heck these people are, if they're specific, or maybe just part of specific factions. But uh, let me know in the comments below if, if I've said something wholly incorrect or inappropriate so far. Um, but yeah, as I said, I've played a little bit of Vermintide, so like I know who like the Skaven are and stuff. I, I vaguely know, but um, I'm just doing this because these are collectible trading cards. Uh, well, collectible, I think, is a bit of a bit of a you know controversial claim, but uh, right, Akhelian Barrier Guard. Cool. Don't know who the Akhelians are, but oh, hang on, it's an elf, elf, elf. Makes it sound Scottish. We've got a Warding Light, very nice. Ah, that looks reminiscent, I've seen that before. The like spiky halo thing. A Zombie Dragon, another Risen card, very cool. Liking that. We've got a Paladin Protector, very cool, and that's the Stormcast. Oh, there we are, sorry, I was... Uh... Ah, okay, and that's got like a, a, a blank thing with a spot in or whatever, and yo, that, that armour, man. That's so cool. Uh, we've got p putrid puke. Fair enough. There's there's no there's no beating around the bush. It's not a uh, trying to pretend it's something. It's not. Gears of Mork. Ah, there we are. That's Mork again. Wasn't it Feast of Mork we got last time? I think. Blood for the Blood God. Eee! There we go. See, this is all worth it. Blood for the Blood God. That is a phrase I have heard several times over the years. Brutish Resilience, we've all got that, and you've got some Brutish Resilience if you've sat through this video so far, so well done you. We've got Surge of Justice, got Trampling Grunter, if 
fair enough. And that's a beast. Kind of looks like a beast, to be fair. So, you know. Ooh, Hell Knight. Yo, that's another Risen. Oh, man. Really digging the Risen cards, actually. I know they're just skeletons and armor and stuff, but... I like, I like skeleton armies, you know? Ooh, Collar of Domination. Uh, just a heads up, I don't know when we're hitting the rare or something. I've lost track of how many cards are in a pack, to be honest. Ooh, we've got Disruptive Liberator. And that's a Storm... Oh, yo, this is the Hollow, okay. This is the Stormcast. Nice. Ah, oh, look at him. That's an even nicer Hollow, because there's more of a Hollow effect behind him. Uh, I don't know what the like rarity things are as well. I don't know if they've got like super or secret rares, and if so, are things different? Basically, um, I'll take a look at this card in a second just to see if I can work out more. But I think that's the end of that pack because yeah, Kellyan barrier barrier guard. Cool. And go take a quick look at this. So actually, this seems to be a common. So is this uh, one of those cases and one of those card games where you can actually get like? hollows of every card if that makes sense um and maybe there are like some super rares that are only available in hollow or something as well i don't know um i'm struggling to think of a card game that does that but i've definitely seen them right on to the onslaught pack now so i'm gonna take a look at the back of this as well yeah back of that didn't really have anything different but is that the briar queen no that's like a different queen thing also they taped like the top and the bottom down that was very strange i know it's probably so like it could fit perfectly onto the cardboard thing the front but it just felt a bit strange and like oh god this opened really easily if i got repackaged goods not that I'd be able to tell if they were repackaged, though, to be honest. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for in here. I got the Blood for the Blood God card. That's kind of... I'm happy, you know. Are there Skaven, maybe? More Risen things, that would be cool. Oh, okay, so I think we've got new clans or, or factions or whatever in this set. Because uh, I did watch, as I mentioned, a friend open some of these. And I think he mentioned Onslaught introduced some new kind of um, factions, so... Got an ax Axi? Yeah, it's an Axi card, okay. And that is Fireball. They look wizardy elemental things? I do not know. Ooh, another Stormcast uh, guy. Got Guided Vanguard Hunters. Yo, that's pretty cool, that big old dragon in the background. I don't know if he's helping or hindering him, but you know. Ooh, okay, cool. We've got a Moonshield Grot, and he's a Grot uh, from... So stacking, presumably. Maybe you can, like, build a small army with them or something, if you've got enough of them. I, I don't know. we got Azurite Halo. Very nice. I thought that was hollow for a second. I couldn't really work out what was going on. I uh, don't know what that is. I, I, I could not describe to you what that is. Feed the more. Feed it now. Uh, and that is a wizard, fair enough. That's a wizard ability, obviously. Winter's Endurance. Well, it's spring now, so that's gone. But that's a spell. Very nice. Next up, we've got Ma Hel Hellsaber Ishlian Guard. Cool, and he's an elf as well. Elf. Obviously, um, it's, it's just an elf. But that's how they spell it. We've got a Culling Moonfang Rider from the Ogor clan. That's pretty cool. I don't know who the Ogors are, but I really like that art, to be fair. We've got a Relentless Charge. As we're relentlessly charging through this pack. And that is a warrior card. An ability. Uh, we've got a... Ooh, it's a Sango Skyfires? Tsango, yeah, Tsango. That's a demon card, or a demon. Uh, those are the animals from his Dark Material series by Philip Pullman, aren't they? And um, that is not the rare. That is a natural mantle, and that's the Giran clan. Cool. Very, very, very nice, I think. I guess they're kind of like the forest people. Ooh, yo, okay, that's an elf, and that is Volute. Voluturnos, High King of the Deep. Dude. That's pretty cool. So, these really look like Hearthstone cards. Um, just like with the borders and everything going on. And I think... Oh, okay, cool. We pulled a Hollow Fireball. So that was... Um, yeah, there we go. 
So we got a hollow and a non-hollow version of Fireball. That's pretty nice, actually. Like in the uh, background of that. I guess, like, the ones I'd like to pull a hollow, maybe, are the, like, characters or chiefs or whatever they're called. I mean, that's a... Oh, champion. That would make sense, because this set is called Champions, isn't it? Cool. There we are. So we're looking for hollow champions, I think, is probably what people want most, maybe, because it's, like, the most impressive or something. Uh, right, okay, so I'm just gonna edit now forward to when I've opened up this second box. You guys don't need to see me do that again. So here is a fade. Okay, I have opened up the other one, so put everything in the back. Uh, I'm not gonna open these two things because we know what's in them and I don't know, I guess maybe I'll give them to charity or if someone else wants these packs. Um, so there's no point opening them up because we've been through it before. So that's the Onslaught pack, we'll leave that till the end. And we've got two more Champions booster packs. So it seems the booster pack designs, there's only one for each set, which is fair enough. Um, I'm just used to like um, Pokemon and Dragon Ball Super, but to be fair, I think Yu-Gi-Oh does that as well. They've got the same pack designs. I think Magic varies them, am I right in saying that? I don't know. Uh, right, let's just crack it. Man, this opened really cleanly. Like, that was a pristine pack. So let's get on to it. We've got Chaotic Restoration, which is a spell. Ooh, and Holy Vitality. There we are. That, that looks like a Risen card, doesn't it? We've got a uh, Ethereal Horde, which is a Spirit. That's cool, we haven't pulled a Spirit before. Also, I've got to say, the, the cards are pretty nice, like, they feel, they well, they feel on, you know, quality-wise on par with all the other card games and stuff, so it's not a cheap thing or whatever. We've got Commanding the Dead, probably another Risen thing, maybe, I'm guessing. We've got uh, a Arachnorok Spider, which is a beast, oh, a Grot Beast. That's nice, and Arachnorok. Dude, why isn't that the name of a film? Uh, we've got wah infusion that's an orcs card orcs 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 uh wizard ability hey there are. i'm aware of wag oh wag ceremony so we've got infusion and ceremony is this an orcs pack maybe uh oh no skeleton warriors obviously risen stacking very nice uh oh no yeah no Tra tra transmogrifying Flamer, which is a demon. Yo, that's really cool, actually. That's some nice artwork, lads. Uh, I can never tell which is the hollow, because they are a little bit subtle. We've got a Fearless Kog Kogoraths. Fearless Kogoraths, fair enough, which is a unit. And look at him. He is an absolute unit. And I think... No. Oh, we've got a skeleton champion. Hey, for the Risen. There we are. He's a uh, warrior champion. Very nice. Cool. It's probably a good pull. And by good pull, I mean I'm happy with it. Cause, uh, hey, and... No, what? Savage... Savage Boar Boss. I kept meaning to say Raw. Uh, or Boar Ross. <laughs> and this is an Orc. Or an Orc. Very nice. Uh, I think this is our hollow. Yes. Ooh, Feast of Mork. Dude, that's a pretty nice hollow, actually. Look at that. Lots of hollow estate, and he makes his eyes glow. Well, I say eyes, his lack of eyes, I suppose, because he's a skeleton, isn't he? But there we are. Feast of Mork, which I think... That was the first card we pulled in this video, right? I want to say. If I misread as Feast of Morn, because uh, I just thought it was... A and an, uh, sort of a Warhammer way of saying breakfast. Uh, but I don't know. Right, our last pack of Champions base set. Are we going to pull any secret rares? Do they exist? How does rarity work in this in this game? I, I don't know. Uh, but you know, I I may, as I said, I may give the app a go. Because I'm always up for trying card games and stuff, but I do... I never really stick to many of them. Right, we've got a Return of the Fallen, which is a spirit card. Very nice. I'm going to put them down, actually, so we know what the last card is. Got a Charging Blood Crusher, dude. And that's a demon. Uh, oh, wait. 
I think I'm aware of blood crushers because uh, I've watched a few like videos on YouTube of people restoring old Warhammer models. Zombie dragon again, very nice. Uh, I do not have the patience to paint uh, Warhammer models, but if you do, uh, kudos to you, man. That's a you can build Gumpler, but I think painting Warhammer is like another step up. We've got Scorn of Sorcery, very cool. Ooh, Orc Scrappers. Hey, there we are. Even more Orc cards. Uh, we've got Gift of Sigmar. Well, that's really nice. Thank you, Mr. Sigmar. I'll uh, I'll receive whatever health you want to give. That's an ability wizard. We've got Dark Mist. Very nice. Tactical Formation. Uh, I guess that's kind of tactical. Yeah. Um, ooh, any. That's cool. So uh, Wait, no. Yeah, that does say any, I thought it said army then. Ability. Oh, that's cool. So I guess you can, like, use it on any, any ones, obviously. That's what it fucking means. Dark Mist again. Okay, cool. We've pulled two of the same card. Uh, we've got a Celestial Prosecutor, which is a Stormcast. Very nice. Yo, like... Th their armour is really cool, to be fair. A blood throne of corn, corn, corn. It's a demon. It's demon. Demons are pretty gnarly as well. Uh, to be fair, I don't think there's a faction in Age of Sigma that is like not cool or not like metal as fuck. We've got blessed weapons. Uh, that's a blessing and a passive. And our hollow is brutal smash. Ooh, that does look brutal. That's an ability for warriors, I guess. Pretty nice. Uh, right, last pack. Uh, I've already made the joke about pulling a secret rare for, for that pack, so I, I don't know, onslaught. Uh, I'd like to pull, I guess, the, the woman on the front of the pack. I want to say it's the Briar Queen, but um, maybe it's not. So yeah, with these ones, I'll show you quickly. They're like taped down. It's, it's strange and just makes opening them up feel a bit odd. But yeah, right, Onslaught, last pack of the video. Will I be buying more of these? Pr probably not. Um, I had some fun opening them though. I'll be, as I said, I'll be putting them in a binder and like ordering them and stuff. So that'll be cool. You know, it's sort of a, an interesting thing to show friends when they come over and check out my binders, which I've got like 10 now. So we've got a Stormcast uh, Soul Shielded Sequitur. Another very cool. I'll, I like his shield. I like his uh, and his pauldrons. The pauldrons are cool. Man, why aren't pauldrons used anymore? We've got a rune more bearer, which is an orc card. Very nice. We've got a dracoline evocator, which is a stormcast. Oh yo, stormcast just like they 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 have they have the coolest stuff. Is that a vehicle actually? No, that's a unit. Okay. We've got a gorglave blood warrior. That's definitely a demon, if ever I saw one. It's a unit, but uh, yeah. We've got a spectral lure. Cool, that's what you do when you're fishing for ghosts. Uh, we've got a twisted skull cannon by... Uh, ah, there we are, that's a vehicle. A demon vehicle, very nice. Yo, <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, we've got a hellsaber Ishlane guard. That's an elf, very cool. Uh, we've got a Culling Moonfang Rider. I think we got that before, didn't we? That's an Orc card. A Relentless Charge. I think we pulled that. It, it's it's a mildly generic name, to be fair, so we could have pulled something similar. Mimon, Mayamon Banshees, I guess, which is a spirit. Very cool. We've got a Trials of Fire, which is an Akshi one again. Very nice. That's a passive blessing. Our penultimate card is Everwinter's Watch. Very nice. Uh, cool, I guess. That is an instant. Okay, cool. And our final hollow. Ooh! Oh, yo, wait, is that... Wait, is that Reaper of Sorrows? Hang on, let me... Okay, so I don't think... Well, so I think maybe it's a card featuring the... I'm going to call her the Briar Queen, but I'm probably completely wrong. But featuring her, I mean, that that's a pretty good pull. I, I know it's not a champion or anything, and it's probably a common or whatever. I can't be asked to try and zoom in and pass. Oh, actually, wait. 
I didn't realise Onslaught actually has a way cooler thing. You can read it now because it's on light yellow. It's a common. But as a hollow, that looks really nice. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I wanted one of the ethereal ghost queens. So uh, I got a card with it on and it was hollow. So that was a good way to end it, I think. Um, and yeah, that about wraps up this video, to be honest. This is just a small indulgence of mine. I thought, hey, for £6, I'm getting like, a, you know, six booster packs full of cards and stuff. The art is really nice. Um, it's, you know, it's a small collection of something that I'll flip through in a couple of years' time and be like, oh, yeah, yo, I remember buying these. Um, yeah. And about wraps up, honestly, it's got me in a big Warhammer mood now. May go back and play some Vermintide or whatever. Uh, I know the Total War games are pretty fun as well. I I probably won't end up playing the miniatures game because that is that is a rabbit hole I do not have the money for. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know, I guess, if you've ever bought any of these or even if you played the game. Because um, I've not heard anything about this. I didn't even know this existed until it was brought up uh, recently. So, it's probably a pretty fun game. All, all the effects and stuff look pretty straightforward. As I said, it looks similar to Hearthstone or Magic or whatever. I'm sure it's, it's a perfectly functional game. It's just a shame it died by the sounds of it. So, R.I.P. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions. Uh, right, well, I'm heading off now. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll be making more videos in the future. And until next time, goodbye.